Hi everyone, this is Stanton Jones with ISG. Normally each quarter I jump right into the three most important things you need to know about the IT services sector, but this quarter I'd like to briefly recognize a really special accomplishment. We've been hosting the ISG Index call now for 20 years. That's 80 consecutive quarters. Just to give you a sense of how much this research program has grown over the years, we had 45 attendees on the first index call all the way back in 2002. And this quarter, we'll pass over 30,000 total call attendees over the past two decades. So I'd like to recognize our incredible index team for their tireless work to make this call happen, rain or shine, for 20 years now. So let's go ahead and jump into our big three thoughts from the quarter. Number one, demand remains at all-time highs, but headwinds persist. Managed services generated over $9 billion in ACV for the fifth consecutive quarter, and award activity was very strong as well. There were over 650 awards, over $5 million in ACV in the third quarter, the second most ever. However, we did see a slight decline in managed services ACV both quarter over quarter and year over year, primarily due to delays in decision-making, FX headwinds, and some record high comparisons over the last few quarters. Number two, limited pricing power is pressuring provider margins. Intense competition in the sector, especially for commodity services, means that providers are having difficulty passing wage increases on to enterprises. And when this is coupled with returning expenses around travel, for example, as well as costs to train and retain key talent, it means that providers will likely continue to be under margin pressure. But we believe this pressure will also lead to more innovation in the sector as providers find ways to drive more productivity into their offerings. And number three, macro concerns are delaying enterprise decision making. In response to many of the headwinds we see in the market today, we see more cautious decision making amongst enterprise technology leaders. And in some cases, we're seeing some large awards get delayed. However, as I mentioned earlier, demand remains strong even in the face of some of these delays. So those are the three most important things you need to know about the IT services sector in the third quarter of 2022. And if you're interested in staying up to date on the sector each week, I encourage you to sign up for the weekly Index Insider newsletter using the link below in the comments. Thanks, and we'll see you on the fourth quarter index call on January 12th.